Good morning. Well, today I managed to get myself into the bathroom a little earlier. Bathroom. Yeah. Do you want to say hi to my fans? Hello. Yes. <laughs> Mommy said that's my water. The water is yummy. Everything's yummy to you, Jim. Good morning. No fee F up, no fee shitty for church. The things you say to me don't hold me for walk you. That you will ride with me to the whole for love. Oh, you know She don't want my money. She don't want nobody. She just want loyalty. She want my loyalty. It's night in South Africa, wow. It's morning here in LA. Well, actually, it's noon here in LA. It's noon, and I'm doing my makeup, yeah. Mm -hmm. Time to blend. Have you tried having bangs with your hair? No, it doesn't have bangs. I'll have to cut it and I'm not interested in cutting curly hair into bangs.
Thank you. Yes, Jim. Hi, Cora. We're about to sleep here in Africa right now. How are you? Africa is a whole continent. I don't understand how you say we're about to sleep here in Africa. You know, I'm actually African. So there is a west, south, north, east. I don't understand. Yeah, the reason why all these American people will say, oh, she's from Africa. When there's different million, one million countries in Africa. You need to specify your country. Because night time in South Africa is not the same as night time in Nigeria. Now, here's what a woman once told me. When you feel like your life is unraveling before you, wake up and do the things that you can control. It gives you a sense of, you know, a sense of normalcy if you get me so if you're a woman that loves to drink tea say for example and you feel like your life is going haywire wake up get up make yourself a pot of tea you know if you're a woman that loves to do her makeup wake up Get up and spend 20 minutes, 30 minutes doing your makeup, you know? Just to give yourself a sense of normalcy. Because psychologically, what you cannot control is what stresses you as a human. We all know that when we're, we're a little bit tense and stressed, it's usually because there's a situation in our lives that we cannot control and we have no control over. And so we're like busy speculating what the outcome of that event will be and how it will shape in our lives. And that's what puts you in a state of stress. But if you can't control a little bit in your life, just the little things that you can control in your life, you know, That will give you a sense of normalcy, a sense of a sense of everything will be fine, you know? So that's technically what I am doing. I do not feel like my life is <laughs> is going fantastically right now. But what I can do is control my now, which is my present time. Live in the present, feel good in the present, and take each day at a time. You know that we women are very susceptible to all sorts of postpartum depression, postpartum psychosis, postpartum... Any, so many things can happen to a woman after she gives birth. Some women don't even make it out of childbirth alive. So I'm very grateful for God keeping me throughout childbirth. And I, I don't take it for granted. I don't take it at all for granted. Um, I'm very grateful to God for that. So right now, I'm just trying to be on top of my health, that of my baby girl. As you can see, God is helping us. She's growing well. She's eating a lot, and she's growing absolutely well. For me, last time I checked, I am great, you know? Because <laughs> you need to check in, hey, girl, are you okay? 
you know, hey girl, you fine? <laughs> because you never know with postpartum, you never know when you just slip into, into that dark place that you don't want to be. So I check in on myself like, hey girl, you fine? You good? And you guys check in on me as well. I appreciate that with all the messages and all the love. I appreciate the hell out of that. Um, yeah, it's always important. Wow, someone just gave me a very bright idea. I love you guys for how you actually look into my life and try to make it better for me. So someone just said, put a brush, all your brushes in the cup. It will make it easier for you. Yeah, it will. I should try that. <sighs> However, we're, we're, we're moving out of here soon because, you know, we're moving out. So we need to, I need to not unpack so much. So that it wouldn't be so hard for me to find my own place and move up, you know, so. So we're gonna go house hunting to figure out where we're gonna be. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Oops. Thank you. She's moving out soon, can't afford the bills. <laughs> oh, guys, did I ever say that? Please don't say what I didn't say, okay? So you bend your mouth when applying makeup on your eyes. Everybody does, baby, everybody does. 
If they don't do it, they are funny, they are fake. <laughs> like all those people in the Vogue, Vogue, get ready with me. They'll be doing their eye makeup and their face will just be straight. I say, girl, start faking. You know your mouth be crooked when you're doing your makeup. You just, you just try not to bend your mouth. We all know. <laughs> Thank you, I love you. You guys will go house hunting with me. We'll find a, a small, portable, small house for Cora's kitchen. <laughs> you know? Okay, guys, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Okay. What happened? You hit your mouth. Do you want me to kiss it better? So thanks for your suggestion. I'm going to be putting my makeup brushes in this. And hopefully it will be easier for me to do my makeup for now until we have to move. So with moving, the first thing that's on my mind is the girls. And school districts. Very soon, June is gonna have to start school, and we need to make sure she's in a good school district, not the ones where they're gang, gang. You know, this is America, and I don't want her to be, you know. So we're looking for a very good school district. Um, wow! Well, got my brushes all in my place. Yay! So guys, just pray for me, pray for continuous strength, guidance, and making a good decision concerning where we're going to be leaving, and um, just pray for me, just put me in your prayers, okay? I love you. Um, I do actually do love you. If no one had told you that they love you today, remember Cora said, I love you. And you matter, you're, you're enough, you're worth the trouble, you're worth it.
Hi Cora, how are you girls doing? Looking great dress for the road today. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are going to be coming with us, so we're going to be figuring that out together. So, Thank you, Karen Maguire. She says, the world is better with you in it. And the world is better with people like you in it as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Love you. Me, I won't touch your body now. Me, I won't touch your body now. I've your daughter to me. I'm live. Want me to get off? Okay. Bye, guys.